Time 12, 14 meteorologist Damon Madsen joining us now with another check on the forecast. And even though it's cloudy, it's a mm -hmm. great day in the region. And you know why the pandas are back. <laughs> Nothing can damper down Nothing the mood today with that no. going on. But I saw those clips right there. The sunshine was yeah, out yeah. for that, for that event last time. Well, it looks like we have those clouds back okay. for at All least right. a little bit of time. It won't last, but let's talk about it. We do have more of a gray look to things now as we take a peek down toward the Kennedy Center and the Potomac. River. These clouds again, they are slowly working across the DMV on the back side of what has been a rather big storm system, a massive storm system that is centered all the way up. You have to go into Canada to find the center of that low pressure center, but it is large enough that it is wrapping around this additional cloud cover and yes, light rain shower activity into the DMV here. And of course, it helps that a lot of cold air has settled in that makes it easy easier for those clouds to develop as well. And here is that satellite loop over the last two hours. We did have a good amount of sunshine through the middle and later parts of the morning, especially along I-95 in the district. The clouds were still going out to the west, but now that cloud cover has overspread the entire DMV. So we are looking at much more of a gray stretch ahead of us this afternoon. But the clouds, they are definitely out there for most of us. The rain showers, not quite the same. Those will be rather limited mostly across northern Virginia. We're seeing some light precip near Front Royal Culpeper. Look at how those are fizzling out the more east that they go. So a lot of this light rainfall will be confined to the Shenandoah Valley down towards central Virginia. Many of us will stay dry, but we're battling those chilly chilly temperatures. It dropped into the 30s and low 40s for most of us last night, and we've barely recovered since. DC sitting at 57, Lexington Park 61, and then the more west that you go, Winchester, how about a chilly 46 degrees? It definitely feels a lot more like the middle of October out there here today, and we will not see things warm up much from here. Expect those temperatures to stay in the 50s, especially along and east of the I-81 corridor. Or we could even have a few locations out across the mountains staying in the 40s the rest of the afternoon today. Now, as the clouds break up and they will break up as we head into the overnight hours tonight, that's just going to lead to near perfect conditions for those temperatures to bottom out once again, mostly in the 30s. And we're talking about down toward the freezing mark, especially out across the I-81 corridor into the mountains. Look at that. 27 popping up on the map here in Hagerstown. Not likely to get that cold, but again, many locations will be flirting with the freezing mark by early tomorrow morning. Frost freeze conditions likely bring any plants you have outside indoors if you haven't already. DC, we are going to stay around that 40 degree mark. And then as we head into the day tomorrow, breezy winds are about to kick back up again, and that is going to keep this chilly air locked in place. Highs tomorrow will once again not escape the 50s with a few 40s back out to the west. But we do start to break this pattern on Thursday with sunnier skies, calmer winds that will lead to temperatures rising back up into the 70s for what looks to be a very beautiful weekend ahead of us. All right, Dan.